oil now easing off a new eight-month high, but trade is remaining on edge as the standoff between the U.S. and Iran continues in the Persian Gulf. I want to get the latest on this story now for you with Bloomberg's Lara Satrakian. She's in Dubai. Lara, what is happening inside Iran as threats and tensions mount with the West? Well, Mariam, it's an economic crunch, and it's set to get worse if the EU goes through with its oil embargo, cutting off imports of Iranian oil, cutting into $80 billion in annual oil revenue for Iran. Average Iranians already feeling the bite. Their currency, the rial, has fallen to its weakest against the dollar as people buy up gold and foreign currencies. Some analysts say Iran is now in a currency crisis, and it's making Iran's already bad inflation problem worse. Iran's central bank has said it's moved to rescue the rial, but the bank itself is under fire. The U.S. just passed sanctions on Iran's central bank, making it harder to receive oil payments, stock up on that foreign cash. Mariam? And Lara, just focusing on the political side then, what, what are we hearing from the Iranian elite? Well, a lot of tough talk, those threats to shut down the Strait of Hormuz, that critical oil passage out of the Persian Gulf. But analysts and even the IEA think they're bluffing because for Iran to shut the strait would be to shoot itself in the piggy bank, blockading its own oil exports, which are its main source of income. Right now, what's moving the markets is just this war of words between Iran and the U.S. Navy. We want to emphasize that we have no plan to begin any rational act, but we are ready against any threat, and we recommend, advise, or better to say, we warn the American warship, which was previously in the Persian Gulf, which is a threat to us, that it should not return, and we are not used to repeating our warnings. With those warnings, one former U.S. official, Vali Nasser, says Tehran is ready for a fight, and that growing pressure could lead to a war inadvertently sparked. Meanwhile, Iran would accelerate its nuclear program as a response, and that's the one thing, that nuclear program, the one thing that pressure is meant to stop.